Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you could join me. So this is going to be a plan with me for January, what is it, January 11th through the 17th? I think so, today is the 18th. So I am gonna be using some washi. This washi here is from Happy Dyes Fall Kit. I apologize, I was trying to figure out a way to get it closer, I'm not good at that. So, um, and the other set was from Some Little Things. This kit is from Some Little Things. It is their Alice in Wonderland kit. Um, the saturation on this kit is fantastic and the paper is really, really smooth. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it is that it is not removable. That there is my Instagram handle if you want to uh, catch up with me there. I'm at nerdyjess underscore plans. So how has everybody been? This has been a fairly interesting week for me, actually, as you'll see this past week. Um, I don't know. It's just been really weird. So I want to apologize in advance because just before the pandemic hit so just before i stopped posting videos one of the reasons that i quit posting them as much is because we switch things around in our house and my office is now my oldest son's room my two boys quit sharing a room so i kind of have to like i don't know i just need to readjust how i've got everything set up to get better quality stuff and of course pay attention to what I'm doing I tried a lot harder this time um luckily you will not see the top of my head in this video thank the heavens um but yeah so self-explanatory I showed you guys kit now I'm just laying down everything I decided initially I was like oh this is saturated enough I won't have to white out any of the lines at the bottom there unfortunately they do show through just a little bit but it's not horrible um and then I decided to go ahead and add washi above it. And again, I think that the Erin Condren slightly changes dimensions because I know that uh, some little things kits fit perfectly in the past, but now they kind of have like this lip that hangs over, like the actual printed part of the page. Anyway, so I didn't show this particular washi at the beginning of this video, but I decided to go ahead and pull out my uh, pink with gold bows from Simply Gilded because the happy dye washi was just too busy to put on the top now technically oh i slowed this down so you guys could see first world problems my charm bracelet got stuck in the rings or not the rings the coil of my planner it took me a minute to get it out anyway so yeah um I just did the other washi that I had pulled out wouldn't have been appropriate for it so now i'm going through and just adding the date dots i love the fact that she adds foiled date dots in with the kit um, and that are specifically designed to fit the date covers. Um, a lot of the times when you have date covers that are um, very decorative, like they have a lot of elements to them, especially in the case where you have like little characters on there, you it's hard sometimes to figure out or to find a date dot that you have that will work appropriately where it can be seen easily enough and not disturb the artwork. So. I'm just trying to lay those down as straight as I can. I, I, you guys can see my uh, acquired scar since the, um, the before time in the long, long ago uh, last year. I didn't have that on my arm. That is actually from my parrot. She was very afraid. Uh, one of our dogs, uh, long story short, she was in danger. I had to get her no matter what she did. So I had her, I picked her up, meaning that she stepped up onto my arm and then she bit the snot out of me. Well, I couldn't drop her. She did it out of fear. She's not mean. I couldn't drop her or anything because, you know, it could have endangered her even further. So I just like let blood run down my arm and run to the bathroom. Sorry if that's too graphic for other people, but, or not run to the bathroom, but ran out of the bathroom to take her in to put her in her cage. She likes to shower in our shower in there. I have a perch for her. But now I'm just going through. And I, at first I played with, putting some of the headers from the kit and I thank god there's headers in the kits now because before there weren't very many headers included in some little things kits but now there's quite a few and I feel kind of guilty because I would always be like please put more headers well I like the headers that are in the kit but I really like this washi better it's it's foiled stars I have a thing for stars so 
I went ahead and just used the washi tape because it matched so perfectly with everything else as the header underneath of the day covers. So how has everybody else been? Has this been, this past week been weird for you guys too? It's been really strange. Like it's not been bad. It's just been really strange. I did have some trouble with my anxiety this weekend, but you'll see that later on in the video. But yeah, it's been really odd. So now I'm just going through and laying down the, um, oh, I lied to you. <laughs> I'm putting down a header from the kit. Dun, dun, dun. And now I will go through and start laying down the full boxes. And I really like this kit that it's down the rabbit hole. I don't know. I think it kind of sums up my week. Like every day, whatever it was I was doing that day, I very much felt like I had gone down the rabbit hole. Like I would hyper focus on whatever it was that I was doing and end up sitting for a long time. I did pull my back out. Um, I actually have a, a slip disc. I think I may have talked about this the last video too, but my back hasn't gotten any better. It's actually worse. So I contacted my doctor, but... Um, but as a result of that, that means that like, once I get into a comfortable position, I'm loath to move out of that position because I'm comfortable. So a lot of sitting around trying to do as much as I can from a sitting position. I hope it's not too bad out here. I had to hide outside on the back porch to do this voiceover. Luckily it's not cold. I mean... It's light jacket weather, but it's not cold. But so in my son's room, which is currently empty because he's in Hawaii with his dad, um, our pug's kennel is in there and she sleeps in her kennel at night while she snores really loud. And <laughs> beyond which, if she hears me in there, of course, she'll want out. Um, and then my other half, Charlie, is playing a video game on and he's on a voice server upstairs in our room. So I couldn't very well do that. I can't feel, I can't do voiceovers in the room where the birds are because if I go in there and talk they'll squawk and want out and then my kids are sleeping so yeah I really didn't have very many places I could go so I just like snuck out back anyway so I am writing down that Binksy had an appointment for more fluids and I added a sticker from Mixie cat stuff of a little kitty cat dressed up like a doctor or maybe I didn't yet oh no I did okay it's kind of hard to see this on my phone. Uh, let's see. So the next thing that I'm doing is I'm going to lay down a laundry sticker from some little things from a sheet that I just purchased and decided that I wanted to grab a foiled laundry sticker from Kinsey's Creations. I think that's the name of the shop. And then just stuck that underneath. I thought it would be cute to do it in that way. And now I'm trying to kind of figure out what I want to do. If I wanted to put a space between there, if I how I want to basically handle this next thing that I'm going to record. So when I took Binksy in to the vet, they always ask us, you know, is she using her litter box and everything? How much is she eating? How much is she drinking? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I can never tell them because first of all, we do what they call free feeding, which means we keep cat food out all the time um, for her and our other cat, Ninja. And they also share litter boxes. We have two in the house, but they share them, you know. So I couldn't really tell them what it was. So the vet asked me if it was possible, if I could isolate them at least for the week to see how she's doing or for, for a few days. So that's what I'm writing down here is that we went ahead and took care of everything we needed to, to isolate the kitties from each other. Poor Ninja was so upset. He would sit outside of our bedroom door and like paw at the door and cry because he wasn't allowed inside. It broke my heart, but um, it did let us realize or actually see that Binksy is in fact eating well and her bathroom habits are appropriate to her amount of consumption of food and water. On Tuesday, I cleaned my microscope and did some work. And now I'm trying to kind of figure out how I want to, because I didn't have a whole lot that went on Tuesday other than working. Like I said, I kind of hyper-focused on things. Um, so I wanted to figure out how I'm going to put the rest of things for the day so that it fills up the space appropriately, but, you know, covers everything that I need it to cover. So I got decided to go ahead and use a half box to mark down, and that's a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. Both of those are the little emojis, and these are from 
sticky sloth designs i think is the name of the shop anyway all the shops will be linked below um went ahead and did a half box just to say that i edited and uploaded my pre my plan with me from last week um using some of the happy dia washi tape just to fill in some of that blank space and then i'm going to be adding yep and another emoji sticker from the coffee monsters co i guess tuesday was emoji day um of a little emoji sitting on the couch reading with its little couch potato buddy because i spent the rest of the evening reading and hanging out with binks all right so moving on to wednesday i'm going to be laying down another header from the kit and just notating there with a sticker from some little things that i had a meeting online with my friend matt he is um Iranian and his English spoken English is really really good but he needs a little bit of help with written and reading because he's trying to get his GED even though he has a higher degree of education from his country um, he has to have a GED here from the states in order to take some certifications so unfortunately that did not work out so I will probably have to go over wearing a mask to help him in person um, then I'm going to lay down a half box and this half box is just saying that I binged all of Princess Honey's um, videos here on YouTube. She's my friend Caroline. Happy birthday, Caroline. Today is actually her birthday. Um, so I spent like the most of the day just hanging out in bed and watching Caroline's videos. Um, or, you know, working or... Yeah, I did. I did quite a few things that day. All of, of course, was sitting because of my back. Um, now I'm going to lay down a sticker from um, the Coffee Monsters Co. that I posted my Instagram post to say that I had uploaded my last week's plan with me. And then a sticker from Magic Prince Co. of a YouTube symbol and foil that just says that my video went live. And that sums up the first half of the week. Does anybody else associate their week, like, with however many days? Like, it's half a week when you have to switch to the next side of your planner or to the next page. I don't know. I started thinking about that in that way. I never even realized it until I started doing videos. So I had a little oopsie. I actually received a phone call, um, and it messed up. When I receive a phone call and have to stop my video, it actually, like, zooms in closer i don't know it's a weird thing my iphone does so i didn't realize it until later so i had actually finished thursday um i slowed things down here a little bit to give you a little bit of time to look at everything i am now adding some little sparkly stickers from i say sparkly foiled stickers from the giving girl just to fill up some of the empty space there and to give a little bit more shine um so Thursday, I did some work. I took Binks into the vet again. I put away some of my dad's stuff, just some of his food. I ended up, I had a headache halfway through the day. It wasn't a migraine. It was just a run-of-the-mill headache. And then Friday, um, I started designing my stickers. I've been talking about wanting to do my own sticker shop for a long while now. Well, I actually started designing. And a little bit later on in the video, you'll get a sneak peek of what those stickers look like. Um, that little sticker there that says Fry Frinally is from um, Mushi. I don't know. It'll be linked below or I'll add it here on the screen. Um, then I cut a sticker from Scribble Prince Co. That, to make it say work and just wrote down that I had finished all of my reports that are due in January. So I'm ahead of the game as far as work goes, which I'm really excited about, but I want to keep that trend up so I don't get behind. Um, unfortunately, that means that if I don't get more in soon, I may be light on reports to do in February. So on Saturday, I am kind of going backwards a little bit. Saturday, I did have a panic attack at night um, or an anxiety attack, not a panic attack, an anxiety attack. So I put a sticker there from Spencer Jude that says um, feeling anxious and an emoji from their anxiety sheet. And just notated that I had to take my medication. I have, I do have Klonopin for acute usage. So when I have an anxiety attack that I can't get under control myself, I can take one of those. I try not to because they make me kind of a zombie. Then I added another label from the kit with another little emoji that just says that my dad fell. He's fine, um, but he fell down on Saturday. Um, He's doing just fine, though. Then a half box with a sticker from the Happy Daya's winter subscription kit from last year. 
Um, just notating that I did some more design with Procreate. You guys, I love Procreate. I don't know if you guys have had the opportunity to play with it or if you're into that kind of thing at all, but oh, it was so much fun. So now I'm just kind of going through and I'm trying to decide, like I have an idea of what stickers I want to use, but I'm trying to decide where I want to lay everything. Um, so like I said, I kind of plan or planned, I kind of went back and did this day backwards. Um, so I'm going to add another label from the kit with an icon from the kit of a little envelope, just saying that I contacted my doctor about my back to see if I can get some medication. Hopefully I'll get an answer by tomorrow afternoon since today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, happy MLK Day for everybody. Um, I didn't, uh, I haven't gotten a response back yet. And then I notated that I did some more work and I picked up some reports from a coworker of mine who's been under the weather and just kind of helping her out. Um, so that's how Saturday went down. And then yesterday, which is Sunday, um, I, I basically, all I did yesterday was watch YouTube videos and design. I did, yeah, I don't think I did anything else. I didn't, and I didn't go to sleep until like four o'clock this morning. So I was up all night. Just, I was having a lot of fun as it stands now. Um, like I said, today is actually Monday night. I, I think I have 18 different designs right now. So I guess technically that's 18 different sheets potentially of stickers that I could do. And my first run of stickers is going to focus on, um, not focus on, but like, it's going to be, I, I call them curl friends. It's a whole bunch of like little faces, but all of them have different types of curly hair and they're like different kinds of, oh, I don't know how to explain it. You guys will see when I, I'll start sneak peeking some of them as I get them going. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited. I'll tell you what I drew. So everything is hand drawn. I do not do, um, with the exception of text here and there, but most even the text I've done by hand, um, everything is original and hand drawn. So it, um, yeah. So those two little guys with the pencil, that's from Sp uh, Sparta Paper Co. I don't know if she still has those, uh, that particular designer shop. I've had them a long time. I love them. And then I added some stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. And now I'm going back and just adding, this, um, a divider, a star divider from the Giving Girl. All right, so here I am. I had actually printed out my photo for my journaling on my sidebar, and I'm just trimming it down to size. And this is a sneak peek. The picture is not great because it's actually a picture of my iPad screen. Um, and then the printer made it all funky, but it worked. So that's one of my little characters, one of my little curly girl characters. Um, and at the top there for journaling, I'm adding another sticker uh, from... Oh my goodness. What is the name of that shop? I can see the name in my head anyway, but it's their two little characters that say, wow, um, because Binksy actually played. It was so cute. She was chasing a piece of string. It was adorable. And then I'm adding a sticker from trying to show you, it didn't work out, um, from joy of planning of a girl playing with the cat. And I'm going to add a piece of washi from happy Daya's, uh, washi from their fall subscription kit last year. And then just journal underneath of there about um, designing stickers and, you know, that this picture below there is a sticker um, or a design of one of my stickers that I want to do. Um, so this is everything completed. I did go back through and add a little bit of um, a, a few of the little characters from the kit itself. But I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video with me and listen to me ramble disjointedly about my life for as it is. And I hope that you will come back and join me again. This is everything that I have left over from the kit. I actually use quite a bit of the kit. I'm so sorry. I didn't use the headers if you're watching, um, but I'm going to save them for future use. So I have quite a few elements left over and the color palette itself is interesting. So I'll keep those in my kit graveyard to pull from as I need them. So if you would, hit the like and subscribe button. I hope to see you all again soon. Peace.